Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Sketch Monkey here. Today we're gonna have a look at a pioneer within the segment of sports car brands turning into SUV manufacturers and of course we're talking about the 2003 Porsche Cayenne. The thing is this came out when Porsche was doing these fried egg headlights of the 911. Some people absolutely hate them but to me when I see them it just makes me hungry so it's not a big deal. But I, when they turned the first Cayenne it's not really a looker. I think most people can agree on that that the first generation Cayenne it looked a bit off. It looks it looks a little undefined and the proportions are just all over the place but before we jump into talking about the the design of the actual model here I want to get into these sketches here and show you just how cool the development of the Cayenne was because I love these sketches right here they're so dynamic and this is my type of sketching that I prefer the most a simple sketch but it still shows a lot of ideas and a lot of technicalities within the sketch. And I also love the way that they use different big colors here. So you have some red going here, then you have some green. And of course, just a touch of marker, cool gray markers right here. And of course, down here in the bottom of the car to create some depth to these sketches. So this is one of the front views. This is another front view that I also love. It's such an expressionistic way of sketching if that's a word but I know you get what I mean and these don't look bad I, I really don't think the front of the first generation Cayenne it, it doesn't look too bad it looks pretty good if you just look at it from a straight front view but then when we come to the rear I think this is where Porsche had a lot of problems and it's pretty obvious why because up until this point all Porsche had done was sports cars with a sloping rear end. So how do we turn this super ingrained design language, how, would the, how do we turn this into an SUV? It's pretty much the as drastic of a change you can think of. But as you know, the Cayenne has since grown up and is one of Porsche's most important models. And it basically saved the companies in the early 2000s. So what I wanna show you here, this is of course the first generation Cayenne here. As I said, it doesn't look too bad if you look at it from a straight front view like we have right here, it looks pretty cool. And as I said, I'm not a huge, I, I don't really dislike the fried egg design that we have of the 911. And this is kind of a version of that, even though it's a little bit more subtle than the dip that goes down here. And then we have some yellow here in the 911 fried egg version of this headlight. But looking at it from straight front view, it's all good. It doesn't look too bad. It's when we come and look at this side here that you can feel that Porsche designers were struggling to come up with what type of shape do we want? How do we want to create this new segment of car that we're going to move forward with with Porsche as a company creating SUVs? It's a completely new way of thinking and you can see how they explored a lot with these sketches here which honestly some of the best sketches I've seen because usually when you see sketches today they're digital renderings and it's it looks almost too perfect. It's not, a sketch to me should have a lot of imperfection and it should look dirty and it, uh, it, it's, it's not supposed to be a perfect illustration. It's supposed to have 50% art and 50% design in a good sketch like this and you shouldn't take too much time doing these renders either and you don't want to make them perfect at all. So these to me, one of the best sketches I've seen in the history of car design. So back to the front here, as we said, it looks good. Now let's look at the rear here and this is of course where it gets a little bubbly for me. It, it looks a little swollen, <laughs> the Porsche Cayenne, the first generation. We're gonna have a look at the later generations in a moment here to just see how it grown up. And now it actually, it's a pretty decent looking SUV. I'm not a fan of the coupe versions that everybody seems to be spitting out now. It's one of these trends the last couple of years where everybody needs to have an SUV coupe for some reason. I don't get it. Either you get a, uh, either you get an SUV or you get a coupe. You can have a four-door coupe. It makes a little more sense than an uh, SUV coupe, even though a two-door coupe is obviously the obvious choice if you want to have a sporty looking car and a sport, sporty performance and handling of the car. So let's have a look at the current Cayenne. You can see the change here, just how much more defined this is and how much more in line it is with the rest of the lineup of Porsche. The Macan, of course, and you have the Cayenne, but it's also in line with the sport models of Porsche, the 911 and the Caymans and the Boxsters. It does have the same DNA now. It knows what it wants to be and the designers are not as confused 
as they were in the beginning of this era of Porsche SUVs. So have a look at the rear here. It's a beautiful looking car now. And of course, they added the light bar, which Porsche is probably the only company to me that are allowed to have light bars on every single model that they have because they had it back in the 70s and even the 60s and it's part of their DNA to have light bars even though everybody, literally every single car company today has one car, at least one model that has a bunch of light bars in the back. But it's a good looking car, a lot better looking than the previous generation right here or the first generation that we have right there. So what we're going to do today, what are we going to do today? We're going to take this Porsche Cayenne and I think that it would be better if the Porsche Cayenne came out in the mid 1990s before the fried egg headlights because it's like two bad things clashed at once for Porsche when they created the first Cayenne. You had the fried egg headlight, people were not a fan of that design and in that time Porsche also decided that hey we need to make an SUV and what we need to base it, base it of course on the current design language. So we need to make some fried egg in the front here and we need to make an SUV. We need to come up with all these things at once. So I think turning the Cayenne into a 95 model based on the 993 would have been an easier transition for Porsche into SUVs. Does that make sense to you? Anyway, that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's have some fun here and turn this into a 1996 Porsche Cayenne. And let's see how that is going to turn out.
guys, this is my 993 based Porsche Cayenne. I think it looks a lot better than the first generation Porsche Cayenne, even though I have huge respect and it must have been such a fun project for designers at Porsche at the time to create, to get the brief like, hey, we've been doing sports cars now for six, 40 years or something, 45 years, almost 50 years. But now I'm going to give you a brief. The brief is take the sports cars that we have, turn it into an SUV. How exciting would that be for the designers from a brand that's done nothing but sports cars in the past? So I think this actually works here because now by now we're used to seeing Porsche SUVs and seeing it as a 993, it makes sense to me. So what I did here was of course, bring in the 993 turbo wheels, some of the best looking Porsche wheels of all time. And also the 993 front here, it just works. I just added a little bit more of a chair or, or a, an edge here to make it more defined because the 993 is kind of soft in that area. I want to have one line that is a bit, a bit sharper than the rest of the line. The 993 in general is a very soft design. So having just one line that cuts in the front there just makes sense for the design here. And it also creates a difference between the, it, it, it creates kind of, you, you look at it from the front and it looks like a 911 because this from the top up is basically a 911. So I wanted to separate the, the kind of sports car features of the this Cayenne here. I wanna separate that from the lower part, which is going to be more SUV like down here with a stronger, sharper line right there. And then of course, the 993 mirrors, which also one of the best looking mirrors on pretty much any Porsche. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the 993. I think it's a beautiful looking car, the last air cooled Porsche as well. And on top of that, overall, I wanted to reduce the styling because if you look at current Porsche 911s compared to the 993, you have a lot less styling. So I wanted to implement that onto the package of the Cayenne here as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.